made a lot of progress to analyze the gut microbiota and novel tools now allow to characterize the complete genes and genomes of all dominant microbes basically. And this allows to characterize dysbiosis far better than we were able to do before. Uh, it allows, for example, to pinpoint specific genes that are present in patients compared to healthy individuals. And it allows also to reconstruct genomes of specific bacteria that are signatures of disease. Uh, and it allows to uh, go all the way to functions of those microbes in specific disease conditions. Specific bacteria are identified when we compare patients and healthy individuals, for example, and we can even describe very precisely uh, the genes and genomes of those bacteria. And for some strains, we have this information already. So we know of uh, strains that are bioactive in, um, in protecting from disease conditions and in helping to uh, reduce aggravation of chronic disorders, for example. Some bacteria can be identified associated with disease or health and we can go all the way to uh, understand what function they exert and we have good examples of that. I will take a few. Fecalibacterium prausnitsi is present in almost all healthy human gut microbiota and we see it diminished or absent in certain patients and we know that it's anti-inflammatory. And so we can think of using this specific commensal bacterium as a new treatment, for example, as a new probiotic. Now, talking of commensal bacteria is completely different from the usual probiotic concept that were essentially lactic acid bacteria and bifidobacteria. But I can predict that we will see in the coming two years, probably, human trials with commensal bacteria that are currently being prepared in capsules, for example, or sachet, and that could be very helpful to treat um, uh, specific conditions. There are four mains, uh, main, main outcomes that we can think of. Uh, microbiome as a source of uh, signatures, of uh, diagnostic tools uh, to uh, associate with disease, but also to predict the uh, outcome and the improvement. Microbiome for the second one as a source of new drugs and drug targets. And we now can explore the complete genetic makeup of the gut microbiota, looking for um, especially signals that microbes send to human cells that can be new drugs. Um, microbiome as a, a source of indication for modulation. We know that nutrition can modulate the microbiome and recent data, for example, indicate that uh, specific fibers and mixes of fibers can be very helpful to modulate diversity of the gut microbiota. And finally, microbiome as a treatment of its own. And we see uh, specific gut microbes that can be helpful, but also complete um, microbiota can be used in fecal microbiota transplantation, and it's being developed quite a lot today.